Hey guys, so I wanted to go over a cool little tool that I found. Uh, I actually seen a video of it online and it took me a while to find one, but then I finally found them in stores. But this is called the Texas Fence Fixer. Uh, so as you can see, whenever you're running a farm, you're inevitably going to have fence that gets loosened over time. Deer either running and jumping over them, catching them, uh, turkeys, uh, other wildlife. But then uh, a big thing that we see here on our farm is with cedar trees, as we have right here and right here where we attached our fence to because we're very rocky here. So to get a post in the ground would be very difficult. We will actually attach our fence to those cedar trees. But the thing about the cedar trees is they catch a lot of wind. So therefore, whenever they do that, it's gonna stretch your fence. So this here is called the Texas Fence Fixer. And what it does essentially is, it's got two pivot joints here and one at the top. And these pivot joints will allow you to put the wire in the joint. And whenever you uh, pivot it, I guess, on that arm, it tightens that where that wire can no longer get loose. Same as the other side. And once you get that wire into your joint, you tighten the mechanism and then you can take your chain and put it on the end so then it cannot get any wider than what you'd already tightened it to. So I'll give you a little demonstration. Once you get that tightened, then you take a piece of barbed wire, cut it 12 to 16 inches long, and then wrap it around. And that holds the tension because metal is very good in tension. It'll hold the tension on that strand whenever you release it from the mechanism. So I'll put on my gloves real quick and I'll show you how that would work. There's other ways of tightening the fence as well. And I'll go over some of those videos in time. But essentially, like I said, you just get your barb in to that strand there. If you can get it to stay. Do the same on this side. Now I've got it tight, so now I will just pull it to each other with my chain. You can see now I've pulled that tension out of that line, created this V. So now that I'll take my short piece that I've already pre-cut, Kind of put it in the center, wrap it around. Gloves will get caught. Do the same on the other side. And then you take your pliers and essentially just curve it around. So you get that tension pulled out of it. Now I'll release it. So as you can see, that wire is very tight now. So now you can reattach it to the metal fence post that you may have or to whatever it is that you're actually securing your fence to.